Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today we're going to be doing a cheater's run in No Man's Sky, the Omega Expedition. So, starting with the Omega Expedition, you can use a previous save to start it. So, as you can see, I have a previous save going on in here. I have a whole bunch of cool stuff in here. So, I'm going to go in very, very prepared. Like, I have, I've beat it multiple times, so I know exactly what I need for the expedition so what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna do a speed run as you can see from the timer next to on the screen there we're gonna see how fast it i can do this with a ton of help a ton of items to start with so this is i i count it as a cheater's run because we're gonna have everything we need there's none we, we don't need to find anything we're gonna have all the hard uh, difficult items already in our inventory so if you've never done a i've like, never used a previous save to do the expedition it's very very easy go to the space anomaly there is now a new terminal right here the expedition terminus and if you just select your equipment you can start anything that's uh, any expedition that's running so right now we have three weeks left in the omega expedition if you want to start you can put in you have a limited number so you can't use everything it doesn't copy your character one to one it just allows you to basically share some items with your expedition save now keep in mind be careful anything you put in here it is locked onto your expedition save until you finish it once you finish the expedition you can send anything right back to your main save but you cannot do that until the end until you finished it so if it's going to take you a few days or if you you don't think you're going to finish it don't put anything in here because it'll never come back to you unless you finish the expedition. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna give myself some really, really good stuff. So I'm gonna start off with, where's my, uh, oh no, it doesn't organize my stacks? Oh god. Well, we're gonna need glass. I'm gonna give myself 11 glass. We're also gonna need three radiant shards for one of our milestones, because we need to get a sentinel ship. We also need one inverted mirror. That way I don't have to search for that. Again, it's gonna be really, really fast and easy. We're gonna need cadmium. And I'm going to give myself 150. I think you only need 100, but I want to give myself a little bit of a buffer. With the uh, glass, you you definitely need 11. You need to make... You need to 5 for a dome, 3 for your window panes, and then another 3 for your uh, hallways. So you need a total of 11. You need 3 radiant shards. You need 1 inverted mirror. And I would highly suggest getting 200 fungal mold. 200 cactus flesh and 25 mordite you're gonna need all three of these items for your liquid explosive we need to do that for one of our milestones and then just some items we need for uh the memories that we're gonna use for our milestones gold is something you're gonna need and you're also gonna need some ionized cobalt these are just the essentials if you want to give yourself a whole bunch of stuff you can give yourself some upgrades give oh we're gonna need some silver too let's get some silver in there Silver will definitely help us out. Uh, but I mean, yeah, you don't have to give yourself anything beyond these items. Like, you don't want to worry about ferrite dust or pure ferrite. You can always farm that up pretty easy. I'm mostly looking at the items that are hard to find. Or take a long time to get, like the glass. It's going to take you two or three minutes to refine it. Or just give it to yourself and save yourself the two or three minutes. Alright, so that's what I'm going to go with on my cargo. All my materials. My upgrades... All I'm going to do is give myself a hyperdrive upgrade. That way I can just uh, basically jump from system to system without having to do the middle jumps in between. And we're also going to do the personal refiner. You do get that for a milestone, but I want it as fast as possible. And I don't want to have to make it. Like, you would need materials in order to make it. I'll just have it automatically created, and I can just install it ready to go. So that's what I'm starting with. And... As with always, oh, wait a minute. Beginning the expedition will start a new journey and place you upon an unknown world. Again, it's locked in, you guys. So on any of the items you leave here will not be able to come back until you finish it. You have to finish the expedition. So with all the speed runs we usually do, I'll have a timer on the screen that tells you how long it takes in real life. You guys can see that. But also, we're only going to go officially by what it takes in uh, in-game time. So that's what we're going to be focused on. But that timer there is just for your, uh, for your reference point. So 
Let's start it up and boom, there goes the timer. Now, this is not gonna be a detailed walkthrough. If you're looking for a detailed walkthrough, I highly recommend checking out my actual walkthrough guide on the channel. I made a walkthrough guide that explains every milestone and what you need to do. This is gonna be more of a speed run to show you how fast you could do it if you absolutely need to do it like last day, you're like, oh my god, I only got like five hours left to do it. Can I do it? Yes. You could totally do it, but you need to be prepared. Make sure to bring in those items and keep in mind, you cannot get those items until we go back to the Space Anomaly. Essentially, what we did was we just put all those items into a, a security lockbox. And then once we go back to the Space Anomaly, we can unlock it and grab all of those items. So first things you do when you get on the planet, scan th uh, six plants. Only six of them because we want to make sure to get that milestone done really quick. And the reward for the milestone is a scanner upgrade. That'll let us get some more money. So you only want to do six of these plants. You want to save the rest for when you uh, when you can do uh, more scans with your upgrade. That way you get more money for them. And that should be it. There it is. Done. Easy enough. Boom. Easy enough. So let's grab that reward real fast because it's going to give us a uh, an upgrade for our scanner. Install that really quickly. Move that down here. And oh, actually, you know what? We'll, uh, we'll install it over here with the supercharged slot because we want to make sure we're getting a lot of money. Uh, for every scan that we get, because we need to make a ton of money to begin the game with. Now, what we're looking around for is these buried technologies or like buried minerals. Uh, subterranean relic does not count. Um, we don't have anything around here, do we? Oh, buried cache. There we are. Boom. So, one of the other milestones is to uncover three of the buried caches or, you know, buried minerals, buried regular items. It cannot be like a treasure or anything like that, like bones or salvage. Can't do any of that stuff. Let's scan some animals because that'll give us a lot more money. Well, yeah, we're making 54,000 per scan. That's why you do your uh, plants first. Because now we have that upgrade, we're getting way more money than we would normally. And now anything we scan, we have a higher potential to get a lot more money for. And then we also have a lot of oxygen over here. We're gonna need this later on, so beautiful. That worked out pretty well. Now, where'd my uh, buried cache go? Where'd that buried cache? Up there, I walked right by it, oh God! Don't do that, I've already wasted time. That's all right. Well, it's not gonna be a perfect speed run, but man, it's gonna go real quick. Grab that. Now let's go towards our uh, ship. We need to get that ship going. Get this guy going, get all these uh, animals scanned. Now, for our ship, we're going to need some ferrite dust to begin with. And remember, you don't get those items to begin with in the lockbox, so you have to make your own. So, I'm going to make sure to farm a whole bunch of ferrite dust in the beginning. We're going to need a lot of it. And you can also keep in mind, you can farm it with your ship itself. Like, if you fly around and shoot the ground, you will get materials for that uh, those, materi those uh, things you break. So, you can't break, like, uh, car you know, copper or anything advanced, but... You can break rocks, you can break these little plants, and you'll be able to get a whole bunch of ferrite dust, a whole bunch of carbon, that kind of stuff. So just keep that in mind. That's what you want to focus on uh, if you're trying to farm a whole bunch of materials. Um, do we have any other buried uh, stuff around here? I have a buried cache 200 feet over this way. We also need to look for some uh, dihydrogen, the blue crystals. We're going to need that in order to uh, fix our ship. Let's grab this over here. Down in here. Boom. Got it. We only need one more buried item, but we also need some ferrite dust. So let's look around for that or some uh, dihydrogen crystals as well. So let's grab all these while I'm thinking about it. Done and done. Now, when you start out the game, you do get automatically a Hermetic Seal, and you also get a Refiner. So you don't have to worry about making those, so you don't need the materials for those. You just need to get, like, metal plating. You also need pure ferrite, which is going to be hard to get in the beginning because we don't have an advanced mining beam. We have to refine it down. But we could do that pretty easy. 
How much do we have? We have 131. Okay, we're doing good. 131. So. And we also have uh, 44. We're good. Okay. Good, good, good. Slap this uh, refiner down. We need to get our pure ferrite going. Half. There we are. We need 50, but I'm going to make 65 just because it's easy to do half. I don't want to count it down and all that kind of stuff. You got to go to this marker here. Just, I'm going to blast right through this. I'm not worried about reading the text. Again, if you want a guide, definitely check out my uh, walkthrough on it. It'll explain everything, and I read all of that stuff. But for now, we're just going to be skipping through all of this stuff. That should be done. Pop into our ship. Now go in here. We need to make a jelly. Oh, wait. Er, metal plating. Now we're good. So pop, pop. Pop, pop. Move that over here, just to make myself some room. Gotta skip through all of this text here, six minutes in. We're doing pretty well, we're doing pretty well. So we're gonna lift off. And then go into first person, because it's easier to shoot the ground in first person. Let's get some rocks, we're gonna need some ferrite dust, you guys. So let's do that real fast. Use your rocket, just be careful. If you're too close to the explosion, you get splash damage, so be careful of that. Now, keep in mind, we're going to need some uh, condensed carbon, the red crystals. We're gonna also going to need some oxygen to make fuel so we can get the heck out of here. As soon as we go to the second system, we can go to the Space Anomaly, and that's where we can pick up all those additional items that we stored away. So that'll help us out immensely. Slapping all this in. Boom, boom, boom. Now, the next thing you want to do is... Let's go into space. Maybe we'll hit an asteroid field because we need to get 55 asteroids real fast. So I like to, to launch a little bit and you'll see asteroids on the outer edges. And that's how you know to stop, but I didn't see any. Now we're going to go to this uh, cold planet over here. And on the way, we're going to keep looking around for asteroids to pop in like that. That's how we know there's an asteroid field here. If you start seeing some rocks, that's how you know. Okay, there you go. Boom. Asteroid. So we need 25, or 55, excuse me. So, there's a combination of what you could do here. So the, the larger asteroids will give you more materials, but they take longer to destroy. The smaller ones will give you less materials, but they're faster. So, you have to do a combination of both because we still need some gold. We need some silk. Oh, wait a minute, we don't need any of that stuff, so I'm gonna focus on the small ones. So if you're looking for gold and silver and tritium, the fuel, you want to actually focus on a little bit medium, a little bit large, a little bit small. If you're just trying to knock out asteroids, you're just trying to get it done, go for the small ones. So they'll just black out, they'll blast really fast. So that's what I'm going to do, because I don't need my silver. I'm going to have my silver once I get to the uh, space anomaly. So I'm just going to pop the small ones here. And remember, we're going towards that cold planet. The cold one is where we want to go. That one is going to be, uh, it's one of our uh, milestones is to take a picture on a cold planet, a dead planet, which has no atmosphere, and a hot planet. So that's why we want to land and uh, do our base building on the cold planet. There it is, done. So now we just head over to cold planet. It's going to be the blue one. Let's start accepting some of these rewards. That way we can uh, get all the items here and knock them out. Boom. We need that recipe. Optical drill, I will take that. We need to uh, fix that. That way we can put the optical drill in there. Uh, dihydrogen, we're going to need more of that. We're going to need some... Well, we have some silver already, so we're good on that one. We're going to need some uh, sodium nitrate, but we're okay on that. Now we go to our ship. We have our oxygen. Um, we have our condensed carbon. We're going to need some more of it, though. And copper, we'll get that eventually. We don't need that uh, rocket, so we'll uh, just keep that for now. Any of this extra stuff, I'll throw in my uh, my suit here. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. We're going to need the dihydrogen, though. So, all right. Now, we'll, once we land here, we need to slap down a base really, really fast and build that base. You can also, if you want to, do the Sentinels here. I highly recommend doing the normal Sentinels because they have less health compared to the uh, the corrupted Sentinels that we run into later on. So, if you want to just knock out your 25 Sentinels, you can totally do that here. 
And remember, they are based, their health is based on your upgrades. The more upgrades you have, the, the longer it's going to take to kill them. So keep in mind, later on when you get more and more upgrades, it's going to take longer and longer. So you want to do that early on. That way you have the, uh, the fast chance of just knocking them out real quick. Now we're going to take, uh, we're going to register this. And while we're up in the air, I'm going to install that. Another mining beam upgrade, and we have a hazard protection upgrade. There we are. Now activate your, uh, your base computer again. That'll give you the blueprints you need. And make your foundation. And it takes a second for the foundation to build. That's why I like to slap this down first. Oh my god, I don't even have enough ferret dust for that. Are you kidding me? Well, let's uh, make him mad by doing this. Maybe we'll get some sentinels to come after us. We, we need all of this. We're going to need some dihydrogen anyway, so... Make sure to get those blue crystals. You could also give yourself at the beginning of the game, when you start it up, you can give yourself the blue crystals as well, the uh, dihydrogen. But remember, you're not going to be able to use it now because you have to get to the space anomaly first. Come on, we have an optical drill, so we should be getting like double the amount of resources we normally would get. Here we are. So now let's slap down that foundation. There it is. And look at it, it takes a second for it to kind of register. And so it's just, it's getting there, and boom! Okay, there it goes. Now we can put down our, uh, cylinder. Our hallways. One, two. We need to do another dome, and we need more. So now, this is where you can, uh, take off and, uh, go after your sentinels. And one thing to keep in mind is, the sentinels like to spawn in front of you. So you'll see there's a countdown timer, right? If I'm looking in a certain direction, they will spawn up there. So keep use that to your advantage. Look in the direction you want them to come from. That way, you know, okay, this is a clear area in front of me. There you are. See, look at how they all spawn up in front of me. If you're looking off of a, like a, a really crowded area or a mountain, it's going to make it really difficult to take them out or see them coming. So I like to always look at a, a big open area. That way I could just, okay, just see them coming and boom, knock them out real fast. See how, the, how fast they're going? And I mean, you can if you want to. You can take advantage of your uh, supercharge slot by uh, moving this over and putting our um, bolt caster in there. That way, we do a little bit extra damage. Now, we uh, we still need to get our ferrite dust going. Yep, I know, I know. Let them come in, let them come in. We also, we need to make a dome. There we go. We also need to make a doorway on our uh, on our platform here. We need to make one ramp. There we are. See, we're going a little bit faster. Get out of the way, crab! Get out of the way, crab. Are you serious, crab? You really want some of this? I'll take you out too. I don't care. I don't care. You want to be a jerk? You get you get treated like a jerk. All right. Now I'm saving these green barrels for when that happens. Shield goes down, use that green barrel because it'll recharge your shield. Now the the uh, big old quad though, that thing will drain your shield and kill you really fast. So that's why we made the door real fast so I can get in here. Now let's start doing our other stuff and heal up and let the uh, timer expire on our uh, countdown here. Boom, okay. Now we need to make our batteries. So I'm gonna pop this down and go one, two. Need to make our things. One, two. Sentinels are searching. Let them search. I'm just going to not die. That's what I'm trying to do. Storage containers. So let's make our storage containers here. So we need a zero and we need a one. It don't, doesn't matter where they go as long as they're next to your, uh, your base somewhere. There we are. Now we just have to get in and out of our uh, base computer. Oh, uh, where did I slap that thing? There it is. Out of it. There we are. That that milestone is done now. But we need to uh, get the heck out of here. So let's look around for the yellow salvage container. 
one of our milestones is to knock out the uh a treasure which is going to be marked in yellow so that's specialized it's not a buried technology or anything like that it has to be a specialized item and as we're running this way i'm going to also be looking for any kind of like buried minerals maybe a uh, buried cache uh cargo drops not going to count i scanned all that animal okay good scan this hazardous flora Seventeen thousand. that'll help there we go Subterranean organic structure. That's another one we can get. So we need this, and this will be our third. Where's this thing at? Did I miss it? What the? Did I miss it? Don't tell me. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. I missed it by a little tiny bit. That's okay. We got this. And while I'm thinking about it, how uh, many more Sentinels do I need to take out? Let's look. Uh, we have... Oh, we need 10 more. Okay, so we definitely need a lot more. That's one more. Eight. Seven. Six. Six more. So as we're running over here, and I yeah, I didn't make sure of it, but you should make sure you have enough launch fuel for your, uh, your ship. That way, you can just call in your ship whenever you're done. Now, you're going to need to uncover this, but also break open all the casing around it. So, let's do that. Boom. Boom. And then the Corrupted Sentinels. These guys have more health than usual, so you don't want to mess with that guy if you can't, if you can help it. Where are we at? Three more, or two more, excuse me. It's two more, I can't do math, okay. One. Two, done, all right. Now we're gonna need some dihydrogen. We're, gonna, we're, we're also gonna need some uh, condensed carbon. So as we're running away from these guys, let's head over here, let's grab some carbon. That way I can make my launch fuel or make my uh, hyperdrive fuel. Excuse me. You're going to need a lot of it. Now that is going to reset your timer. That's okay. So we got our hidden uh, items, our regular, like the subterranean uh, stuff. We also got our treasure. We got our sentinels done. We got our uh, base done. So we should be okay. Let's uh, get over here. Come on now. All right, good. Get some more of these. Now we need to take a screenshot of, uh, we need to take a photo of this planet because it's cold. Press down on your D-pad, go over to your photo mode. You have to use the in-game button, whatever that is. Don't use your controller button. A lot like PlayStation and Xbox both have dedicated like screenshot buttons. They do not count in No Man's Sky. You have to use the in-game button, whatever that happens to be. If you're on Xbox, it's gonna be uh, A. If you're on uh, PlayStation, it's probably gonna be X. But make sure you go into your photo mode and then use whatever button they tell you to take a screenshot, not your controller button. We're going to this uh, low atmosphere planet because this is another one of the pictures we need. And as we're going, I'm going to collect some of my uh, rewards. There we go. There we go. Just collect all these because I'm going to need these materials. Here we are. I got it. Thank you. Now, while we're in this menu, make our hyperdrive. We don't have anything there, but we're okay. We can uh, fix up this because we got copper out of that reward. And then our multi-tool, we need dihydrogen. Got it, done, done. That should be our scavenger. There we are, scavenger is done. You don't need to fix all of the, the broken modules. You just need to fix most of them. <laughs> Cannot install that. Get rid of that trash, get rid of that trash. Keep that. This is a trade rocket, we don't need that. Uh, da, 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 da. Don't need any of this, okay. Now the other thing with the photos is you don't need to be on the planet, you don't need to land. You just need to be close to the surface, whatever that planet happens to be. This is our low atmosphere planet. So 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna get close. I'm gonna give my photo mode, take a picture. Done. And if you want to double verify, you can always go to that milestone, which is going to be tour guide in uh, phase three, I believe. So phase three tour guide. Yep. Two out of three. So we're there. We're, we're on track. We don't need this. Open these up. You guys know I'm crazy. I need to uh, make sure I have enough of everything here. Boom. In my... In my suit, in my suit, and we're in my, in my ship, that way I know. I need to get more silicate powder, but I'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. Don't need that, so that goes in my ship. In my ship. Keep that here. Uh, keep that here. Alright. And then we're gonna sell a whole bunch of items in here to make some money. Because we need to buy microprocessors, we also need to buy some materials. But first, come down here to this hot planet, take a photo of this one. And that will complete your milestone for tour guide. That way we can get that knocked out as well. That's so bright. I don't even know if that's going to count. It counted. It's a weird, it was a weird setup. Oh my God. All right. Now let's go back to the space station. We're going to pop in here. So we also need to learn 16 words. The fastest way to do it that I have found is uh, learning words from aliens on the space station. If you talk to them, they will most likely offer you uh, assistance. They will teach you a word in their language. You just need to talk to 16 aliens and you are good to go. So that's what we're going to do. After we come over here and sell some of those upgrades because we're going to need some nanites in order to buy or unlock some blueprints. So I'm going to do that really fast. Just sell the all the uh, upgrades I don't need. We don't need the trade rocket, Humboldt drive, a scatter blaster. Don't need any of that. All right. That should give us enough of the uh, nanites we need to buy our liquid explosive blueprint and our solar mirror. We're going to get that later on, but don't you worry about that. When we get to the space anomaly, we're going to get a whole bunch of stuff ready to go. Another thing you can give yourself if you want to circumvent that uh, that uh, step is give yourself a... Uh, oh, God, don't talk to this guy again. Give yourself a uh, solar mirror because you need to make a solar mirror anyway, but there's some things that are just... It comes naturally. Like, I could have given myself an indium drive, right? But you get all those materials anyway, so it's not that difficult to make. So I ignored that. You can totally do that if you'd like. It's not, like, needed. The only thing you cannot do, the only thing they, they kind of uh, prevented you from doing is one of the milestones is to make liquid explosive. And so you'd think, oh, I'll just give myself liquid explosive and that'll just circumvent it, right? No. You actually need to craft it in your menu. It will not count it if you buy it or if you find it randomly. It only counts if you create it, if you build it. That's why I gave myself the materials, and then I can just build it in my menu. <laughs> if you try to just, you know, cheat it and give yourself the liquid explosive, it says, okay, good, you didn't make it, you just gave it to yourself, so it doesn't count. So keep that in mind. There we are. Oh, not that one. Not that one. You? Yep, you right there. I'm trying to get as many words as I possibly can on this first one. That way I can just knock it out really easy on the second one, because you won't be able to do it on one uh, space station. There's not enough of these aliens to teach you. I think there's about 10, maybe 12. So you'll never get the maximum, but you can get real close. That way on the second one, I can just, you know, talk to a few aliens and be done. All right, I think that we're all good here. We're gonna sell some stuff now. Sell the, uh, we're gonna sell all but one. That one, the bromide salt. We need our thing here. We don't need hydraulic. We don't need that, that. Navigational data. We don't need that. Dirty bronze. All right. We do need our Nautilin chamber. Do not sell that. We do need um, five of these. Five wiring loom. All the ferrite dust we can get. All the pure ferrite, chromatic metal, magnetized ferrite. Done and done. So. Now it is time. Oh, wait a minute. We got to grab that reward here. Boom. Boom. Get into our uh, spaceship, start flying, and then also grab that one. So, we need to complete our uh, 
our fuel here, but we also need to make fuel. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five. You want to leave one uh, antimatter left over because we need that to make our wonder later on. We're done. All right. So now, next thing you want to do is go to Band Dab. This is a pirate system right next to the uh, starting system, the spawn system. Band Dab. This is where we're going to buy our uh, band weapons. That way we can smuggle them to the first rendezvous. However, you can do your Atlas uh, seed here. I'm not going to do that on this run because I have a particular order. And if you've not gotten to rendezvous number one, it won't count it. So ignore it. If you've not gone to rendezvous number one, it's going to mess you up. So don't go to that Atlas seed because it, it, it basically they assume you're going to go in order of uh, how the milestones are set up. And so it won't count it until you've touched rendezvous number one. So just don't worry about it. It just so happens to have an Atlas seed or an Atlas station here. But that's okay. That is okay. Um, let's make sure I'm full. And now, boom, boom, boom. I think we're all good here. We're all good here. So we should have enough fuel. We should have enough fuel going forward. All we're going to do here, all we're going to do is buy some banned weapons and get the heck out of here. You only need to buy one, but the more you buy, the more money you make. So I just buy the fastest grip I buy all four you can buy one and if you sell it as long as you make hundred and twenty thousand you're good to go now keep in mind they will call you to have the space anomaly show up you don't want to do that yet we can go down here to the next system I don't like having my space anomaly pop up until I get to the rendezvous system it just helps me out a little bit actually oh god I'm doing my previous run I should talk to them now because I get my hyperdrive upgrade out of this Mother trucker, I should have done that. All right. Well, that's what we're going to do then. So let's talk to him right now. Because I forgot, I have all my upgrades on there. You don't get anything until you go to the Space Anomaly. Let's do it. We can go there real fast. And one of the benefits of using an old save to start the expedition is this uh, this whole mission where you have to go talk to uh, Nada on the, uh, on the Space Anomaly. If, you've, if you have a brand new save that you've never used... They actually make you go all over the place and go to all the different uh, locations. They want you to talk to Helios. They want you to talk to the market in the back. That sucks because it takes an extra couple of minutes because you got to run all over the place. If you use an old save like this, they assume they're like, okay, you've already seen the, the anomaly. You don't need to do a tour. So they just let you go. So you get to shave off a couple of minutes because you don't have to take the big old tour of, oh, I got to go all around this. No, you don't got to do any of that. So let's just talk to Nada real fast, get it knocked out. Boom, boom, boom. And then I think that's it. I don't even think we need to talk to, uh, what's his name? Uh, Polo. As soon as the, uh, the space anomaly milestone pops up, we are good. There it is, done. So yeah, we don't need to take a tour. I will come down here and get my stuff, though. So this is all my stuff that I brought over from my main save. We are putting it all in my suit. And while we're here, we are going to learn a couple things because on the expedition save, they basically start you brand new. So even though you know the recipe on your main save, you won't know it in the, uh, in this expedition save. It's like you, it's basically like starting a brand new save within your normal save. So. We need to buy a couple things here. First, we need to make sure we buy the uh, ceiling light. Under illumination, we need a ceiling light. Done. Then we need to buy our liquid explosive. However, this is in a tree, so we have to buy acid first. Lubricant. Gel. And then we can get our liquid explosive. I would also recommend, hey, if you want to, get your your solar mirror just in case. If you have the, uh, the nanites, do it. All right, we're done. Easy peasy. We got all our upgrades. We are good to go. So next thing we have to do is go to the rendezvous system, but don't go anywhere because we have those banned weapons. We have the illegal upgrades in our inventory that we have to sell that we bought at the pirate system. So you don't want to fly around with those things on you because they will get you in trouble. 
I will say, though, you want to probably uh, install your solar or your uh, hyperdrive upgrade right there. And that way we can just jump and it won't use as much fuel and it goes really, really quick. So let's go over, over here. Done. First rendezvous. And immediately they should put you right in front of the space station. So you can just fly in, learn your words, sell your uh, banned weapons that we get it out of your inventory. That'll also give us the uh, the smuggling milestone done. Easy peasy. There you are. So yeah, anytime you come right into a system, you're usually, not always, but 90% of the time, you're right next to the space station. So we could do that. And while we're, while we're uh, going in, we can install our backpack refiner. We need that. We're also efficiency jets. That way we have our fuel all ready to go. There we are. And I like to use the, uh, like, the uh, animations, like, going into and out of a space station. I like to use that time to go into my menu, because you can't do anything else. It's an animation. It's like a 10-second, 15-second animation that you cannot skip. And so you might as well use that time to go into your menu and to, like, your inventory and organize it, move some stuff around, get the uh, rewards from the milestones, all that kind of stuff. There we are. I didn't even pay attention to how many we had on the first... Uh, on the first uh, space station, so dang it, I don't know how many we need here. Let's see. Um, we have uh, four more, four more. That's all we need. So I looked at it real fast. I don't know if you guys saw it, but I did. I knew exactly where to look. It's uh, I think number three on the fifth rendezvous or the fifth uh, phase. <coughs> Sorry, I am getting over being sick, so I have an itchy throat. So I apologize if I uh, cough a little bit. Uh, I don't mean to, but I'm also trying to be really, really fast. So <laughs> I'm not. I'm gonna try to lean away from the mic. That way, it's not as loud. And then maybe uh, future Jason will take care of it. But I know future Jason, he probably won't. He'll forget because he doesn't want to watch an hour and a half long a video unless there's a lot of mistakes. And then he will, and he'll hate it. <laughs> I also hate listening to my own voice. I don't know if you guys love it or not, but I don't. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. All right. Let's sell our, uh, sell our, uh, manned weapons here. Boom. And I think we're all good. So we're done with that. We learned our words. We, uh, we sold our illegal uh, tech. So now it is just time to go to that first rendezvous. Also, we can make our liquid explosives along the way because we have to, uh, we have to warp down there anyway. Um, so, or we have to uh, pulse drive down here. And it's going to take us a minute, so let's do that real fast. Boom, boom, boom. Got that. A liquid explosive done. Let's start accepting some of these rewards. That way I can get it all knocked out. Boom, boom, boom. Because a lot of these rewards will give you items that you need later on for other milestones. So that's why I try to accept all of them. I mean, it's better to just look at them and know which ones you need, but I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> so I just uh, accept them all and then just move on from there. So we made our liquid explosive. We don't need the Mordite anymore. We do need this uh, inverted beer. We do need our, our uh, submarine here. We also need to make a, uh, a solar mirror. There we are. Don't need that. Uh, I mean, I'm sure I'll take that, but we don't really need it. Um, no, no, no. Uh, the other thing you could have given yourself is some wheat and some, uh, what's it called? Some wheat. Oh, wait a minute. And some, uh... Oh, God. What is that? What is that? Thing? Uh, sugar. Uh, oh, God. Sweet root. Oh my God. My brain didn't work there for a second. Sweet root. That is what we're going we're gonna to need for our uh, stuff later on. But I'm not too worried about it. And the other thing we should be doing, what I'm not doing right now because I'm not paying attention, we should be refining some of this um, sodium into sodium nitrate. We're going to need that for our glove later on. Another thing you could have given yourself is a glove, but again, in the course of doing this, you're going to run into all the materials you need, so... I'm only giving myself the advantage of all the, the hard stuff, the stuff that you don't normally get, or it takes a while to get. That's what I'm mostly knocked out. Uh, submarine and our uh, mirror, okay. So we just have to get close enough to the interior for it to count. There it goes. The other thing you want to do is scan some animals. I need to get 12 animals. 
It's a required milestone, but also, if you get 12 animals, it'll give you your uh, glove, your hazmat gauntlet, so you should be good on that as well. So, look around again. Any red dots? Oh, first rendezvous. Oh, there we go. That's the, uh, the big one that everyone's doing, the community research. And you'll notice I put down the submarine platform and then I deleted it. If you delete it, you get materials out of it, and we need that material. Specifically, we need the crystal sulfide, and we need the, uh, the salt that you get from it. That's why I did that. So you just put down the platform and then delete it immediately, and you're good to go. Wait a minute. Nope. Give me that ship. Thank you. Any other, uh, animals want to pop up for me? No, no, no. So that's where our sunken, uh, wreck is. We're just gonna fly there. And that's why I put down my submarine right there, so I know exactly where it is. And we should be getting close to our, uh, our animal milestone. I think we need 12, so... Just make sure, count in your head if you, if you can keep track of it. I, I lose track all the time, so... You just need 12 animals. And something, another tip about these sunken wrecks is they're underwater. You cannot land your ship underwater. However, every once in a while, they're kind of shallow. And if the, the uh, freighter is hanging out of the water, you can land on it. This is not the one. So the, it has just an antenna hanging out. That's not enough. You need a little bit more than just the antenna. So we cannot land on this one. But if you see like a big rounded like arch hanging out, you can land on that. That way you don't have to, you know, land this far away and then go back and forth. So I love it when I get to the one that's lucky enough where it's shallow enough and it's just hanging out of the water and you can get that all knocked out. And now we've been to the first rendezvous. So that means we can start doing all of everything. Everything's going to count now. So going into the Atlas stations, doing all of this stuff, it counts, you know. So that's what you gotta wait for. You gotta wait for that first rendezvous. We're good to go now. So we're just gonna blast through this. We're gonna head back to our ship. And we're gonna fly up back to uh, Nada on the Space Anomaly because he, we need him to mark our uh, Atlas station for us. We know where one is, but I don't wanna deal with that. I'm just gonna go to his because uh, Nada will actually mark. If you're in the first rendezvous system, he will mark an Atlas station that is right next to a black hole. And that's why we do it here instead of somewhere else because it's just you know depending on the system you're in he will mark a different location and this one is a really lucky location so that's why we like it and that should be it there it is all 12 of our uh, animals so that means we can start installing our glove our uh, hazmat gauntlet so we can oh we don't even need it though god bless it we don't even need that because we already have our materials. You only need the hazmat gauntlet to get your cactus and everything. So, never mind. I'm so used to having to do this manually. I'm not used to actually give it, getting it automatically. <laughs> oh, God. I'm, all, I'm, I'm getting prepared for all this stuff that I don't need to do. Mother trucker. Oh, well. Uh, dun -dun 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 -dun. So, we don't need the crystal sulfide anymore. We're going to need... We still need the glass. Um, let's grab our, uh, rendezvous, sure. That'll give us some extra room in our inventory. Again, same thing. And then, oh, wait a minute, boom. And that one. Again, we don't need the gauntlet, because, uh, we already have all of our, our, uh, we, we did our liquid explosive already. So, <laughs> we don't need it! What we do need is some, uh, silicate powder. We're gonna need that for our, uh, memory. Oh, we don't have it yet. That's okay. Let's talk to, uh, what's his name? Nada, after the Atlas. You can also install that uh, scanner if you want to make more money that way. Very, very awesome. So now he's marked the location of an Atlas. Now, I'm getting, all, I'm getting a lot of these rewards and I'm deleting a lot of them because I don't, I basically, I don't want them and they're not useful for the, uh, for the expedition, but if you want to keep any of this stuff, do it. I'm just kind of trying to keep my inventory kind of clean here. 
So that's why I'm kind of doing that. I'm wasting a lot of stuff. So <laughs> that's another thing. So if you keep that in mind, I'm wasting it. Essentially. All right. So it should mark the location of an atlas right here. So let's go to Atlas Station. And I should be able to jump right to it. Yep, because I have a good upgrade on my, uh, my ship. So we're going to come right here instead of jumping multiple times. We can just go straight shot right to the Atlas uh, system. You need to visit the Atlas twice. Once at the beginning, once at the end. The beginning just to kind of start the memories. And after you've done all the memories, you can go back to the Atlas and finalize it. So let's get in here, Atlas Interface. And while we're doing that again, I like to go through here, clean up all my inventory. That way I don't have to worry about, uh, boom, boom, boom. Need to put that in my suit. I need to make a hermetic seal real fast. Let's do that. There we are. We have our salt. We're going to need some more, uh, we need some more silicate powder for sure. Uh, we're, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Maybe it hurt. Uh, that one right there. So another benefit of doing all of this stuff is the reward for phase three gives you the Atlas Scepter. And that is a very, very good thing to get because it has a built-in uh, advanced mining laser on it. Now, I don't need it for this run simply because I'm giving myself the items I already need, so I don't need to farm them. However, if you don't have like a, an inverted mirror or you don't have any radiant shards, the big purple crystals, you're going to need an advanced mining beam to get that. Same thing for your glove. If you don't have the fungal mold or you don't have the cactus, you need a glove in order to do that. So you need to get these uh, milestones and keep those rewards. Keep that in mind. So I'm just kind of giving you tips on if you don't have this item or that item, you can just do it easier in another way. So this is uh, easy peasy. Call in our ship. And while we're here, actually, this is where you would get your cactus. If you don't have cactus, this is where you would get your cactus right here. This planet has cactus all over it. So just kind of look around and you'll find cactus. If this, if the cactus is what you need, this is where you're going to get it. We don't need it because we've already done it. Let's get our reward here. We'll get our uh, memory. And we should be able to make our first memory here. Boom. I need. Oh, my God. Are you serious? I need more silicate powder. Are you joking? I was right there. I thought I got enough. Are you kidding me? Well, that was a waste of time. There you go. 30 seconds down the drain and launch fuel down the drain because I couldn't be patient enough to get like 10 more silicate powder. God bless it. That's all right. There. Now we should be good. Lord. Lord. That's all right. We got this. We're good. And while we're doing this, let's make our seed real fast. There we go. And then activate it. And this is going to take a little bit of time, but that's fine. Talk to it. Done and done. And then after we do this, we'll accept the milestone because it'll give us the recipe for the next memory seed. That way we can get that done. So, boom. And, oh, wait, er, that one done. And this one should be a big old, uh, big old, uh, what's it called? A big stone. There we are. The big uh, Gek, the first spawn statue. And boom, boom, boom. Now, before we do the next one, all we're going to do is shoot over here to there's a system right on the edge called Hovlopia or Lope Pi, whatever. Over here, you go right in there. The black hole should be right in front of you. Go through that black hole and get your milestone done. And you don't have to worry about doing the black hole out of order or in order or whatever because you can always go right back to a space station and teleport to where you were before. Not a big deal. So go here, do it, and get it done. Also, if you're looking for fungal mold, there's a planet in this system that has fungal mold on it. So there you go. You can knock that out really simple and easy by going right in there and doing your fungal mold. We don't need it again. We gave it to ourselves because we're doing a cheating run. But if you need to, there you are. And as soon as we get to the other side, I'm going to go right into the space station. 
teleport in. If the space station is too far away, we'll just call in the space anomaly. Does not matter which one. Oh God, we also have fr uh, freighter battle happening right here. Where is my, uh, where is my uh, space station? Space station, space station. Really? All right. I lost track of the uh, freighters. Okay, there we go. Go to the one in the front. That's going to be the one that has the, uh, the hangar open. Try to go in and boom, they go away. There you go. Done and done. I don't know why I didn't mark the space station for me. I usually just try to do this. So we're going to the space station because we need to head back to our base. We need to finish off upgrading our base. You see it down at the bottom right. It's telling me, hey, go put some windows in your base. Go do all this stuff. Yes, we can do that. Get it all done. And boom, boom, boom. Getting all these ones knocked out. Nope. We need to keep that one. Don't need that. Put that in here. That way we're full. Head back to our base now. So again, I am deleting a lot of stuff that we don't need. So if you want to keep it, go ahead. But I'm just making room in my inventory. Keep that AI fragment. We're going to need that for a sentinel, uh, for a sentinel ship. So don't get rid of that. If I deleted that, you're never going to see this video because I ruined the whole run. <laughs> so that's the secret for that. If I ever ruin a run completely, like if I mess up, it's fine if I can recover. But if I've ruined something, like I kill, I delete the uh, AI fragment, I'm just, nope, I'll start over. Yeah, that's a big deal. All right. We need to make some uh, windows here. So angled windows. One, two, three. We also need to make our corridor. So boom. One, two, three. Wait a minute. How much do I need? Construct a biodome. Ah, uh, boom. Here we are. One there. You don't need to put them in order or anything like that. Wall screens. Ah, uh, boom, boom, boom. One, two, three. We also need to make a desk chair. Put it, put it right there. Boom. We also need to make a table. Boom. We also need to make a uh, octa cabinet. Boom. We also need to make a wonder projector. Boom. We also need to make a ceiling light. Do I need to put it inside? No, we don't. We don't need to put it inside. I just slapped everything on the outside. Look at that. Easy enough, huh? Holy smokes. That was fast. Let's get over here. And we already took our picture of the cold planet, so we don't need to even mess around with this. So the other thing we need to do is we need to make our next seed while I'm thinking about it. There we are. Cadmium, dihydrogen, and the, uh, what's it called? The ionized cobalt that we grabbed off of our uh, previous save. Here we are. We got our memory here. Done and done. Big stone, uh, scary looking skull. Done and done. Easy enough. And then we're going to do our last memory. So we got to accept that memory, uh, that reward. So we have that memory done. And then our last one. So boom. Oh God. We need condensed carbon. You fool, Jason. Well, we can make that. We're good. So while we're making it, I'm not even going to worry about it. Let's go to the next rendezvous since we're making this one anyway. So boom, boom. There we are. Next rendezvous is right here. This will be rendezvous number two. So now we got all the mean uh, milestones, that the hard ones out of the way. So now it's just going to be us cleaning up the easy ones, going to the rendezvous points and all that kind of stuff. So done and done. And where's my rendezvous at? Give me a second here. My brain's not working. There it is. Good Lord. Brain wasn't working there for a minute. So let's head to this rendezvous. This is rendezvous number two. We're, uh, it looks like we're going slow because it's already been an hour or 40, 49 minutes. That's pretty fast. Holy cow. Uh, but yeah, I mean, literally we're going to be knocking out rendezvous two, three, four. Then we're going to do some stuff on number four to get that done out of the way and then boom we're done basically uh we have to do uh, rendezvous five and go to the atlas station yeah we're we're basically done this is gonna be a portal so just land here with all the uh rendezvous you have to get out on foot so 
Keep that in mind. You can't just land. We can't just fly by the rendezvous. You gotta put your feet on the ground near it. That way it counts. That way it knows you went there. So rendezvous done. Two is done. We should have enough condensed carbon now. So let's uh, use that now. Get in here. Grab our condensed carbon. Yep. Make our seed. And then go back in. Activate it. Now we gotta let it uh, find it. There it is. Done and done. Blast through all this. And this is all the memories. We're all done. And so we're not going to do the uh, the final atlas because we could do the atlas uh, right now. The atlas station right now. But we're not going to do that until the end. Until we get to rendezvous number five. Because rendezvous number five is where right next to a good system that has a uh, exotic animal. So that's why we wait till rendezvous five to do the final atlas station. There is a, a, and if you missed your black hole, there is an Atlas station next to Rendezvous 5 that also has a black hole system right next to it. So you're good to go on that. So that's uh, one done, two done, three right here. Let's find it. There you are. There's nothing special you need to do here. We have to wait till we get to Rendezvous number four. That's the special one. Pulse engine modules. Nope. Launch auto charger. Nope. We don't need any more glass. We're good on that. We're good on this. Um, we don't need the uh, personal refiner. We already gave ourselves one, so that's all nice and cleaned up. Good to go. We don't need salt. Um, boom, boom, boom. We have rendezvous number two. Get the reward here. Rendezvous number three. Number four. Acquire a sentinel ship. Yeah, we're good. And then we almost have this one done too. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Yep, I'm just trying to organize my uh, inventory here. Done and done, done and done. We don't need the mech, we don't need the uh, that technology stuff. Put our seeds all together. What the? I didn't turn off my uh, rendezvous here. What are you doing to me? I hate it. Whenever you're going through that, it'll it'll automatically like, turn off one. You're like, what? Why? Why? That's crazy. Uh, you know I'm trying to go to the rendezvous. You're killing me, man. All right, so this one, I believe, is a crash freighter. It'll be on the outside, right on the edge of the water. If you haven't done your crash, your sunken freighter under the water, you can do it here. But I, you know, we did it earlier, so we got it knocked out. There it is. Boom and boom. I like to land right here. Because if you land in that green circle, it's a landing pad, quote unquote. So it won't use any launch fuel when you get out or when you take off. Done. Rendezvous three. Done. Yeah, yeah, boom. We just knocked out like three phases in like three minutes. Now we go to rendezvous number four. So we're just going to keep on with our expedition route. And this is the one where we got to take a second because we need to get our grave. That's a milestone. We have to communicate with a grave. We also need to make our biscuit. So this needs to be a flavored biscuit. It can't just be any kind of biscuit. So it's a brand new uh, recipe in No Man's Sky with the Echo or the uh, Omega update. So they kind of wanted to show it off. And then go to rendezvous number four. Where is that at? Should be around here somewhere. Where are you at rendezvous number four? There you are. So the, the lucky thing about this is everything you need is right next to the rendezvous. Ooh, had to cough there for a second. It's right next to the rendezvous. So there's a grave right next to the rendezvous. There is also a, uh, a wheat and there's also uh, the sweet root, the items you need to use to make your biscuit. So we don't want to get rid of the inverted mirror or the, uh, the radiant shards. We need that for later on. We don't need the cadmium as far as I know, but I don't want to get rid of it because it feels weird. There's some things I just instinctively don't like to get rid of because it feels like a waste, <laughs> for lack of a better word. So it just feels like, oh, I need to keep it because, you know, psychologically, that's important. Even though it's not really important for this uh, expedition, it's important in No Man's Sky. So I hate getting rid of it. <laughs> it's so weird. I know. Uh, you know, cadmium is one of those things where you're like, I can't get rid of it. It's important. It's important. All right. So, when you land on this rendezvous, or when you get close to this rendezvous, keep in mind, it is a portal location. But there should be 
a little hill next to the portal. You can kind of go beyond that a little bit. You'll see a portal. There it is. So this tree line right here, land over here near this tree line because the ingredients you need for your biscuit are right here. And then we can run back to our rendezvous, make sure our, uh, our launch fuel is filled. That way we can call in our ship whenever we want to. Now there should be, there's some wheat, impulse beans right over there. So the wheat should be over here. There you go. You need some wheat right there. And also your sweet root is right here. Easy enough. Boom. We got all the ingredients we need for a biscuit. So there you are. And now you keep in mind, it cannot be a normal biscuit. It has to be a flavored biscuit, meaning you have to add an additional ingredient, but we secret is you can just add more sweet root to it. Make it a sweet biscuit. All right. Rendezvous number four done. And as you look around here, you'll see a grave right across the way, 770 units away from this portal. Come over here to it. Now, keep in mind, a lot of people, they make bases around, you know, important items. And they did. They put a base around this unknown grave. So you cannot build anything there, including your nutrient processor to cook your biscuit. So I would suggest stop right here. Make your biscuit on the edge of this water. That way you don't have to worry about, oh, I'm too close to the grave and now I can't make my biscuit. Crap. And then put your wheat in here. It doesn't matter which order you put it in. Just remember, you only need one of each. So one flour one refined sugar that comes from your sweet root and that's it so you only need one you don't need to make multiples you don't need to make like a certain amount just one is fine and then put your uh your processed sugar and your wheat together to make your sugar dough and then that's that's it for your biscuit however it needs to be a flavored biscuit it needs to be a flavored to count so just put another sweet root in there and that way it's a floral biscuit and you're done I just leave my uh, thing right there. So you can pick it up if you want to. I, you know, if you don't want to clutter it up, but no, you know, if someone else needs it, <laughs> I don't even know. You need to be in my instance for you to see that. So if I leave it there, someone might be able to, to find my future uh, nutrient processor, like, you know, a week or two or a year from now, or whenever you come to this planet, you might run across a random nutrient processor. And I just want to tell you, you're welcome. <laughs> you have some uh, sweet root in there. A nutrient processor with sweet root for free. It's all yours. <laughs> it's all yours. Oh, all right. So let's get up here. And then as soon as we get over to the grave, we will call in our ship. That way we can fly the heck out of here. But there's going to be a base next to it. There's bases all over the place. So yeah, you can report the base and it'll disappear. But if there's multiple bases, you're going to be sitting here reporting multiple different bases. So you might as well just... Oh my god, is it on the grave? You serious? All right. Call in my ship. Let's talk to this uh, grave real fast. Get that... I thought it was on top of the grave. I would have had to report it. Again, if it's on top of the grave or if there's a base that's blocking something, if you report the base, it will go away. So there you go. And if it gets enough reports, they'll just take it off the servers. It doesn't get rid of the base, like, the base will still be there, technically. But, it won't show up for anybody. So, it basically gets rid of the trolls, essentially. They think they're good because, you know, the base is still there for them, but no one else can see it. <laughs> Indium Drive, done and done. So now, all we have to do is go to Rendezvous 5, but also, we need to get our, uh, Sentinel ship. So there is a, uh, Sentinel, uh, system right next to Rendezvous number 5. So we're going to hop as close as we can get to it. And then we'll do one more jump to the, uh, the corrupted, the dissident system. Get our sentinel ship real fast and then go right to rendezvous five and basically be done with it. We're going to be really, really, oh my God. Are you kidding me? Every time are you serious? Well, again, you can use the, uh, the trick of trying to land on the front, the first, the one in the lead, uh, freighter. And it'll just glitch out and go away. There you go. That way you don't have to deal with that fight. Like, okay. And eventually they probably will fix it. <laughs> so don't don't rely on that too much because they will get rid of it. They would because I thought they did it first. I think there was a, a patch and then they kind of got reverted, where they blocked off the uh, the hangar to where you could not fly in. And so no matter what you did, you had to fight. You know they wouldn't let you land on the freighter until. Uh, 
you got rid of the pirates. They would close the door off. I don't know what happened to that thing. I don't know if they fixed that or if it was just a weird glitch that I ran into, but it was like unexpected. I was like, oh God, they fixed it. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Well, as of today, I mean, who knows? They might have a patch out tomorrow that fixes it. You never know. They did put out a heavy patch today to fix a lot of the problems with your, uh, with your, uh, what's it called? Your expedition save. Because there was a point where you just couldn't end it. Like, it would never end until, you know, the specified date. And that's a problem. Make sure my uh, fuels are all filled up. That way we don't worry about it uh, not having fuel when we leave. So with these, uh, with these, uh, items here, you only need the brain. You can delete everything else. You only need the brain. And then I would always suggest get in your ship first because if you fire this thing off, it'll take you to the location to soothe it. But if you're on foot, it'll do the whole zoom in, zoom out thing. And it, it takes you about 10 seconds to do that. I don't like that. If I can avoid it, I will avoid it. So I purposely get in my ship because it won't do that. It won't fire off basically. And this is right next to it. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, now let's get down in here. We're gonna have to soothe the brain. Right here. Oh, wait, don't do that. There you are. Just skip on through this and then go back to the Sentinel uh, ship. Put the brain inside, claim it, and you're done. You don't have to... You don't have to use it. You don't have to fly with it. So I'm just going to jump right back in my solar ship and go. But if you want to, you can totally use the Sentinel ship. They are very good ones. They have good weapons. They have good maneuverability. They're very, very good ships. But I don't want to go through the hassle of taking all of my upgrades, putting it in the from this ship into my Sentinel. That's a whole rigmarole that is going to take up my time. And we're doing a speed run. We're just trying to get this thing done as soon as possible. So... That's why I'm just pounding it out real fast. And let's pop in over here. And boom. It'll just say, hey, compare it, claim it, done. And then just jump back into our uh, solar. And we installed our blue uh, indium hyperdrive. So that means we can go to rendezvous number five right now. So let's go to rendezvous number five. Now that we have our uh, our blue uh, upgrade here. And it let us in. So if you don't have the upgrade, it'll say, sorry, you don't have the upgrade. You don't have the indium drive. Make sure you do the grave because going to the grave, that milestone gives you the upgrade to get this. Once you have that, you're good to go. You have to install it, of course, but yeah. So let's go to rendezvous number five. Here we are. Get some of these rewards going. Boom, boom, boom. Get some more room in my inventory. This is where you get your Atlas tool. Again, this is a good one because it has an advanced mining laser on it. You need that for your, uh, you need that one for your, what's it called? The, uh, the, uh, the <laughs> radiant shards. My brain's not working. I'm trying to think of what I have to do next. You need the advanced mining beam for your radiant shards. So... If you don't want to go through finding one or doing any of that stuff, all you have to do is uh, get that Atlas multi-tool, the Atlas Scepter, and it has it built in. You're good to go. Right down in here. Now, this one is going to be on the side of a mountain, and it is also a portal location. So, in general, like, I think it's this one right here. Omega Portal 5V Stretch. Yep, there it is. Just land, and again, you have to get out of the ship. You have to put your feet on the ground, which is whatever. You know, it is what it is. Can't stop it. All right, done and done. So now we have two things left to do. Let's uh, get out of this one in here. So we need to find an exotic animal, and we need to return to the Atlas. That is it. Every other milestone is done. So, if you go look for the atlas from here, at the top of the menu, you press uh, left and right on your D-pad, it'll take you to a location that's right next to another black hole. That's the atlas station. 
This system has an exotic animal in it. That way you can knock them both out at the same time. Easy peasy. You don't have to worry about, oh, I gotta search all these systems to find. Nope. Don't worry about it. And again, if you missed your black hole, you can do these real fast and then jump over into the black hole and you're done that way as well. So if you're looking for the black hole, if you want to wait till the end to do it, you could totally do it like that as well. And it might be more fun to do it that way because black holes shoot you across the universe in a random spot. So maybe that's how you finish off the expedition. You do the Atlas Seed, you scan the animal to get your exotic animal, and then the last thing you do is go through a black hole and get shot somewhere random in space, and you continue your save from there. You could totally do that. That would be pretty awesome. That might be the ideal way, I think. So we're going to land here. We're going to talk to the Atlas, but again, I'm going to skip through all of this because we're just doing a speed run trying to get it done. Now, the other thing I want you guys to keep in mind is there are community optional milestones. You don't need to get those done in order to finish the expedition. They're optional. However, I would highly, highly recommend you do those optional milestones. This guide, the speedrun, is avoiding those optional ones because they take a little bit more time. I'm just trying to get it done as fast as possible. In order to do the optional milestones at every rendezvous location, every rendezvous planet, you need to scan at least three items. It doesn't matter if it's animals, it doesn't matter if it's plants or rocks, whatever. You need to scan three different things. And once you do that, it unlocks all of the optional milestones. You'll notice I did the first one, no problem, because I scanned the animals trying to get my glove. So if I go in here, you see on rendezvous number one, or phase one, I got my optional milestone done. But number two I didn't, because I didn't scan anything on the rendezvous planet. If you want those optional milestones, you need to scan animals on those planets. Or, not animals, items. It could be a rock, it could be a plant, it could be an animal. Doesn't matter what it is, but it needs to be at least three. Minimum of three. If you want to scan ten, go for it. But you need at least three for it to trigger that milestone, that optional one. I didn't want to sit around and wait and scan three different things. Uh, that adds up to your time. So now we just need to scan one exotic animal. Where are you at? Come on. Sometimes it takes a second for them to kind of populate in. You'll see a red dot. Like that, right there. Oh, right here. Boom, right there. Got him. That's our exotic animal. Done. Xenophile discovered a bizarre life form. So we are officially done. Let's hit that pause button. 10730. We did that pretty quick, right? What? If you want to officially end the expedition, you have to come up here to the space anomaly. It is not done once you finish it like that. I mean, I can go in here, and I have all the optionals done. I can also go in here and collect my, uh... Wait a minute. What did I miss? Wait a minute. One, two, three, four. Oh, did I not land? I need to be landed on the ground. Okay. I need to be on the ground. That's fine. On foot. That's okay. We'll do this. But yeah, so... I have everything done. The optional milestones are not done, so if you want to wait for it or you want to go out and get them, you should do that before you finish the expedition. However, if you want to just finish it right now, you totally can. So you can tell I'm done with it because my final reward right here is our starship right here, our Starborn Runner. I can find it. I can get it. It's mine. But if you want to finish it, Right here. Come in here. And it'll say, hey, you want to return to your primary save? I'm finished. I'm done. You may freely switch between it. If you want to, you can go back to your primary save. There should be one that says end your expedition right here. It'll tell you, hey, I want to end my expedition. You can end it. And that's how you can send your items back to your main save. I have, I'm assuming I need to accept all my rewards here. <laughs> so give me a second here. So give me a second. Boom. And sometimes there's a weird bug where they won't let you, uh... They won't let you, uh, end the expedition until you've done the optional ones, but it should have uh, had a patch to fix that. So we're about to find out. Let's see. We've done it all. We've done it all. Let's get in here. 
and the expedition. So you need to collect all the rewards that are active. Once you do that, it'll say, hey, you're about to finalize it early. You still have optional milestones that you want to do it. And if you want to, you can stop and say, oh, oh, sorry. And you can decline. If you don't care, like you're like, I don't, I don't want to do any of that crap. You can just go accept. And now this is where you would put it all back. So anything I put in here, I can send back to my main save. So if I want to put in like my, uh, my, my prepackaged cadmium drive, I can totally give that back to my main save. I can put anything you've earned. Your, your fireworks. So sure, we'll do that. Um, we could do our, you know, my, uh, my batteries. There you go, done. Anything you want, you can put in here. Just remember, you're limited to this amount. You can't expand it out. So you can't put like a hundred items in here. You can just put in this many. And then when you're done, it says, are you sure? Anything in there is locked in. You, anything you leave will be lost. They do pay you out. So let me do this. So now they will give you uh, money and units depending on like how far you traveled on foot. You know, traveled by starship, 12 systems visited. I discovered 24 uh, things. So the, the more you do, the higher your payment is going to be. I was doing a speed run, so I didn't do a lot of scanning. I didn't do a lot of travel on foot. And so mine is going to be kind of low. I'm still getting 11,000 nanites. I'm getting 6 million uh, units. Look at that. So this is a lot of good stuff. So they basically cash you out for everything you left. Anything you didn't bring with you, any of the milestones you completed, they'll just pay you out for that, which is awesome. So there you go. Boom. And that's it. Now it's going to bring me right back to my main save. And I'll be able to just collect all my items. I got all my Quicksilver. I got all my good stuff so I could go and just play back like normal. And there you are. So it dropped me in the uh, Space Anomaly. Now, all this is just catching up, guys. Don't don't uh, worry about anything popping up on my screen right now. That's a delayed reaction from when I claimed it all when I was doing my main save or my uh, expedition. You don't actually get any of that in your main save. All you get is whatever you dropped in the box. So now I can grab that. And if I want to create a copy of my Atlas Scepter, the, the, the multi-tool that I had in my expedition or my uh, my uh, solar ship that I had in my expedition, I could totally make a copy of these things and use it on my main save if I'd like. But there's a better part about this, you guys. I had the scepter in my hand when I quit. Therefore, I can make a copy of it. It's going to cost me 1,140, well, 1,144 nanites, but this is the exact copy of what I had, right? Now I can grab all this, put it in my suit. And that's it, right? But also, I can get a second one because if you claim the reward in an expedition, you can also claim it in another save. So I can get another scepter. Look at that. I get a, I get I can have two. Two. Take it for free. So now I have two scepters. So right here, boom. I have two Atlas scepters. Boom. And boom. Oh, but sorry. Went to my creatures. And then boom. Another one. Atlas Scepter. They're both the Atlas Scepter. I wonder, what do they give you if you scrap one? So let's do that. We're going to scrap one. Because I have two. You don't need to. But it's kind of cool to have two. You know, but what happens? What do they give you if you scrap it, I wonder? This is going to be a really long episode. Sorry, you guys. I'm just really, really interested. Because it's a weird, and I'm sure they're going to they're gonna fix that. But the way you can get duplicates is pretty awesome. Let's see. What we get what do we get? Claim it worth 13 1.3 million units. But you also get other things depending on the uh, type of multi-tool. Are you sure? So I got a handful of cogs, I got a mining beam module. And that's it. Okay, so no, you don't get anything special for it. You just get like this is what I got. I got my uh, once useful springs, handful of cogs, and a mining beam upgrade that was the same level as your multi-tool. So nothing special. They don't give you like moats or anything like that. They don't give you nanites. I mean, you could sell that for nanites, but they don't give you nanites. So that's kind of disappointing. Dang it. Well, hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time.